I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he de dedicates his behaviours to love, will, after you have laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the victim of his own scorn by falling in love. But such a man is Claudio. I had known when there was no music with him but the drum and the fife, but now he would rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I had known when he would have walked ten mile afoot to see a good armour, and now he will lie ten nights awake craving the fashion of a new doublet. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose like an honest man, a soldier. Now he has turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet. So many strange dishes. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster. But I'll take my oath on it. Till he have made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all these graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. <laughs> Rich she shall be, that's certain. Wise, or I'll none. Virtuous, or I'll never cheapen her. Fair, or I'll never look on her. Mild, or come not near me. Noble, or not I for an angel. Of good discourse. An excellent musician. And, and her hair. <laughs> She'll be of what colour it please God. <laughs> oh. The prince and monsieur love. I will hide me in the arbour. 